that he won't be back next year. He is the perfect coach for this team, the way it's built. Well, his contract runs out after this season. And Schroeder drives. He has done a fabulous job. He's been an outstanding coach in this league for quite a while now. Chris Paul, a little ball fake. Shot won't go as the 24 second clock expires, but Steven Adams gives them a new 14. Schroeder, quick drive, left handed shot rolls off the rim. And Schroeder slow to get up. There was some contact after the release. Gordon for three. Thunder have been a terrific fourth quarter team. They've a lot of clutch games, close games to be able to pull out. But these situations where the ball's not in the middle of the floor against the switching defense hasn't led to good possessions. Schroeder off the glass again, just in and out, and Rivers will bring it up for the Rockets. Billy Donovan talked early in the day about wanting to keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Too much on the side right now where the Rockets can load up. Jeff Green loads up on the three and puts it in. Green with nine points now, and the game is tied. Quick timeout from Billy Donovan. All leaving at 80 with 10 minutes to go. So important for young players to have terrific veteran leadership with them. Jay Gilgis Alexander's got a lot of guys looking out for him. Schroeder misses that one. Tucker the rebound. Rockets doing a good job without Harden in the game to be tied right now. He's two for 12 today and sitting, and they're doing a terrific job. Gordon gets into the paint, kicks it out. Daniel House for three, puts it in. House with 15 points, and the Rockets take a three-point lead. We've seen that several times tonight where Eric Gordon turned in the corner, driving kick, finding wide-open shooters. Real balanced scoring from the Houston Rockets. Paul lobs it into Adams. Back out. Baisley. House drives, kicks it out to Tucker. Up top, Austin Rivers for three. Rebound taken out of the hands of Nader. Up and in. P.J. Tucker deflected it out of Nader's hands. And who was right there but Daniel House? Some really good offensive rebounding sequences for Houston tonight. House has nine rebounds. Chris Paul, a contested jumper. Rivers keeps it alive. Gordon drives, gets to the rim, layup is good. Eric Gordon with a beautiful move. Ten straight points by the Rockets. They're up seven. And seizing the moment. Question if you're the Thunder, where does the scoring come from? You have Schroeder and Chris Paul, but you have three guys that you don't have to pay the ultimate respect for as far as threats. Baisley and Schroeder play catch. Shot clock down to eight. Dennis Schroeder, oh, stops. Green was right there. Pass inside to Adams. Couldn't handle it. House to the basket. Kicks it out. Green, a corner three. Got it. Jeff Green from downtown. And the lead is up to 10. What a pass by House. House with 17 points, nine rebounds, and three assists. And all without James Harden. Chris Paul trying to end this 13-0 run. Can't get it. Gordon ahead to House again. Daniel House to the rim. Layup. And that follow won't count. His house was fouled by Baisley on his drive. And he will go to the free throw line. And how about James Harden? Up, clapping, enthusiastic, not sitting there pouting. And That's I'll, leadership. And I'll say this. I've never seen him that involved. Usually he sits and watches. I mean, especially on a bad night. He's two for 12. I tell you what elevates that. When you see another guy that's going to be in the Hall of Fame alongside of you in Russell Westbrook engaged all of a sudden it, it looks cool to be involved Westbrook is he exerts as much energy on the bench cheering as he does what he's playing and he's firing up James Harden and firing up Daniel House House having a fantastic game and 
helping Harden's off offensive performance. As we mentioned, Al's a Houston native. He wasn't drafted out of Texas A&M. Heavy G League when he first started. And now a very important player on one of the best teams in the NBA. 15 straight points by the Rockets. They're up a dozen. Largest lead of the game. Gilders Alexander's back in. Drives, kicks it out. Dort trying to draw some contact, and he does. These fouls, like this stuff where you just fling your body into somebody, this has to be legislated out. You have to take legitimate shots. He was already on the ground. I... Well, they didn't call it the act of shooting. First team foul, fourth on Hart. Gilders Alexander stops. Back out. Dort and Tucker. Inside, Nerlens Noel just gets it off in time, but can't fit. And the ball knocked out of bounds. And they say last touch by Dort. I have not seen the Houston Rockets defend any better than they have defended the last couple of games. They are getting it done, and it's inspiring to watch. And it's not just short bursts, Mark. It's for the entire game. Harden shake and bake drives and draws the contact on Dort. That's going to be the fourth on Dort. So Harden to the line. He's five for five from the line. Just ten points. A rough shooting game. You see the numbers. That includes overall two for twelve from the field. But he has eight assists and he's got plenty of help. playoffs where everything is up for grabs no pressure or anything just cementing your place in history <laughs> you're pros you'll be fine it's a whole new game well the thunder had a six minute scoring drought in the third quarter over a five minute scoring drought here in the fourth the coach when you don't defend you have nothing to overcome a struggling james harden tonight offensively 